All right, so we're here at Merlin's house to make uh, German whips, Russian sticks. Look at this crazy place, man. This is, this is how you get the wipes. That's where you get the vibes from. What up, everybody? This is the beat breakdown to German whips and Russian sticks. My boy Milano. What's he, good? He produced this track with me. And essentially, it was actually our first time meeting each other. It was the first beat we made. We made a couple other beats after this, but it was the first beat we made. And while we were making it, I sent a Snapchat to Naseeb. And I think that was the first song that me and Naseeb made off of the album. Just off of that Snapchat. He like, sent me this beat right away. And um, yeah, it was probably it. It was probably the first song on the album, and then it just shifted into a bunch of things. The the interlude, the yeah. ending, everything. It's just it was, it was something special. What what was your experience doing a Punjabi song? It was it was fire. First Punjabi song, right? Yeah. Indian Indian too. Uh, yeah, because that was the first time we met, so that was definitely the first song we made. Yeah. Uh, it was a fast process. Yeah. This guy <laughs> works faster than anybody I know. <laughs> Like literally, we're halfway through cooking the beat, and like Nazib is already saying, "Send me the beat. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, rapping yeah. on this. I'm recording right now." I'm like, okay, the song's like done. We didn't even start. Yeah. So that was fire. Yeah. So the main instrument you hear on this song is is a, is a Punjabi folk instrument, the sarangi, and um, yeah, that's the first thing we recorded. So Iki played the Sarangi loop, is that what it's called, Sarangi? <laughs> okay, he played the Sarangi and then we started to flip the sample. So we pitched it down, added an auto pan for the gate effect, some EQ, some LFO tool for the pumping action, and uh, some chorus. Now from here, we layered in drums. Clap. Clap number two, I hat Another hi hat And some crash. And then I had this voice memo on my phone from a session that was a couple days before. And it was like this trippy, my friend was playing drums and then somebody was rapping in the room at the same time. So I was like, yo, this would sound sick on this beat. So I popped it in, mashed it to the tempo. And then this is what that one sounds like. Then with all the drums. We had an 808. And with the loop. Uh. It's gravy, baby. Jeez. Okay, so at this part of the beat, it's kind of like a pre chorus. We got a little breakdown here. We got a synth bass that comes in. So this is just serum. You know, classic, like. 16 voice unison pad and then I got the uh, the EQ8 which is sweeping upwards to kind of build the tension as we uh, rise to the drop so I just did that with an automation <laughs> So I really wanted the ending of the song to just be massive and, and Milan is really good at orchestration so we ended up making an orchestra vibe, some choir, some... What else did you have with the ending? 
we had a bunch of different sounds. We had, yeah, some vocals, some uh, some drones, some strings, some big drums, yeah. tom drums, and some uh, some electric guitar, yeah, some synths, some synths, some synths, right? And uh, I was just standing outside on on the phone with Nasib. Well, I think this was like the last step of it. I'm on, on, I'm on the phone with Nasib. Telling him, hey, add an ARP in there, <laughs> you know, yeah, open, yeah, yeah. open up the envelope. <laughs> so it was a pretty, it was a pretty crazy process. We were here for a couple of hours trying to do this song. So for the outro, we decided to add a couple more cinematic type sounds to bring up the intensity a little bit as it's like building and Nazeeb's rapping and everything's getting crazy. So here's some of those. So a lot of these sounds are from the DSI Tomo behind OB6. I remember we were working on this sound and Icky was outside the window in the studio and I was like cooking up and then he's like, yo, yo, like lower the attack a little bit, like open the envelope a little bit. He was like directing me and we we're kind of like collaborating and he's on the phone at the same time and it was like, it was hilarious. But uh, you know, the sounds got dialed in real good. So we had the OB6 ARP, we had a pad from the OB6 and then I'll play it with the drums as well so you can hear the whole thing. And the sample, so. So those sounds would come in. And then we got some choir sounds here. It's going crazy. We got 808. Uh. And then right here we have a little sound which is just a transitional sound. The reverb tail. Icky loved that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we got some opera sounds here. In the background, that's a contact sample for, you know, cinematic vibes. And then we're just chilling. So I wanted an intro to the song, but I didn't necessarily want it in the song. So we created a separate interlude, but it was one. It was a seamless transition. Yeah. So so when you play the songs back to back, you don't even notice it's a new song. It's gapless. Yeah. So here's the winner. Well, that was the breakdown for German Whips and Russian Sticks. This is Iki, that's Milano, this is German Whips, and we out. Let's get it. <laughs>